Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we're going to be learning how to create a multi-buttoned slideshow on Wix Studio. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. So Wix has gotten a complete revamp so what was known before as the Wix editor and of course the editor X we now have the Wix Studio. Now a couple of changes have occurred and one of them being the slideshow. So there are or is a specific way in creating the slideshow that it is now. So just to demonstrate, we do have these little buttons on the bottom right, and these are our navigation bars. You can see if I click on them, it does the simple uh, transition from digital marketing, we'll just say, to the web development at profile tree. Now it's not as easy as it was previously on the Wix editor. Of course you could just drag and drop and then that'll be your slideshow. This will take a little bit of coding and it's particular to JavaScript node. And for those who have used the Velo code editor previously on the Wix editor, this is where it used to occur. But anyway, uh, enough chat. We'll go ahead and I'll show you the simple steps in creating this particular slideshow. So here we have a blank canvas on the Wix Studio. In order to get to this stage, go ahead and open up Wix Studio, select a template or create a blank canvas. So I'll leave that decision to you guys. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead with a blank canvas. Now, in terms of the layout of Wix Studio, it's fairly similar to Editor X and the Wix Editor. So if you guys have played about with Editor X, this may be a little bit easier to understand. And for those who have just come from Wix Editor, don't worry, it's completely easy to follow. So on our right side here, we've got our toolbar. And that's going to help us, of course, with the dimensions of the slideshow. On the left side here, we've got our elements, which we're going to pull our slideshow from. We've got our site styles. We've also got the app market. And the new features here is the CMS. We've got the code as well as the layers. So they've just moved, been moved into the left-hand side, so it's easier to navigate to. From what you guys may remember, the toolbar and the layers used to be on the top right of the section. So just where my logo is now. So you can probably see it uh, highlighting there. Uh, you can't see my cursor, unfortunately. But anyway, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the slideshow. So top left, go ahead and click on add elements. So you'll see it right there. So you'll get a nice drop down on some of the elements here. Where you specifically want to go is the actual layout tools. So here we have the slideshow repeaters. That's something that we want to have because we want to repeat the same slide but have multiple slides as well. So pick and choose whatever design that you want to go for. This is more or less going to be the same method anyway. So I'll go ahead and select the services commercial. I'll go ahead and drag and drop that element onto the section here. So I'll go ahead and attach that element in. So you may be wondering, of course, it is a little bit too small. Uh, there is a tool here which we can stretch it out to the complete width and height of the section. So we'll go ahead and select the stretch button there. So that'll just even everything out. So what we wanna get rid of straight away is the actual navigation buttons. Now we'll not be needing these navigation buttons as there is only two. We wanna have multiple buttons, of course, to click into the different slides that we have. So say four buttons to show four slides. And of course, if I click on the fourth button, that'll link me to the fourth slide. If I click on the second button, then of course, that'll link me to the second slide. 
So just again to demonstrate what I am on about. So we'll just go back to here. We've got our four little buttons here and these are all called buttons still. So button 15, button 14, button 16 and button 17. Now of course there is a better way to uh, name those which you can do yourselves. So we'll go back to the slideshow here. So as I was saying, go ahead and get rid of the navigation button. You'll have your toolbar on the right side. Go ahead and select icon. Now go ahead and disable show icon. So that'll just completely get rid of the left icon there. And select the navigation button for the right side. Do the same. So click on icon and remove show icon. So that'll just get rid of that. Now you can completely modify this however you want. You can add the text on it, have a title, have a description, have buttons. This will completely work as is. Now from what I was telling you earlier on with the layers, if we go ahead and open up the layers, you can see that we have currently three slideshows, which is great. So we'll have three buttons. So this is all being grouped up into slideshow one. And of course, this is where our navigation buttons are, which we'll not be needing today. Uh, now, what we want to do is go ahead and select Add Elements again. Go on to the Decorative. Now, select a shape that you want. I'm just going to go for this basic circle shape. I'll uh, apply that on here. Okay, now I'm going to need three of these. So I'll go ahead and lower down the value to 25 by 25. So that's height and width. So that'll just lower it down to one of those tiny little circles, but not not too small for the user to see. So that's perfect as is. So we'll just drag it down to wherever we want to drag it down to. So that'll be our first button and that'll actually be our third slide. So third button for third slide. Now, depending on your design style choice, you can go ahead and select that particular button and you can go ahead and design it however you want. So we can go ahead and add a border. We can add a shadow to it. And we also have interactions as well. So it can do some animations. So with hover, if you hover over it, it can change color. So there's a couple of uh, different suggestions on, in terms of that. You can use vector art as well if you wanted to. So multiple choices. But for now, we'll, we'll just st stick with the basics as we are going to be coding on to the different shapes here. Um, but anyway, go ahead and select on the add elements. Now what we're going to go for here is a button. So select on buttons. And then click on any sort of button that you like. So for the meantime, I'll go for the X button. Like so. And what we want to do is select this particular button. And we're just going to change the icon or remove the icon, sorry. And what we want to do is change that by 25 by 25. So you can have a, however many buttons you want. But that all of course links to the amount of slides you'll have. So with us we currently have three slides. So I only want to present three buttons. So that's what we'll do for here. Okay. And we can see that there's one button that's been successful. Uh, I'll go ahead and copy and paste two more of these. And again, it doesn't really matter where the placement is because we can go ahead and stack them. Okay. So I'll just drag this along and that looks okay to me. So it's a little bit laggy. Okay. And then I will do the same for this one. Now we've got our three buttons. Uh, this is your option as well if you want to modify these buttons so they can have like a hovered state. So it'll if you hover over it, it'll go black. Uh, so I'm happy enough with that. I'm just going to keep it simple. 
So, yes, um, now is your time to pretty much modify and change it a bit if you want to pause the video. Uh, but now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and stack these. So holding Control and Shift and right clicking on the mouse, we can go ahead and group these up and then select the stack. And that'll just stack all of these shapes together or these buttons, sorry. Okay, so now that we've got everything all stacked up, we're just going to move it slightly to the left so it's not too close to the edge there. Okay, so that is perfect. Now, what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and start doing the code. So, go ahead and open up your code on the left side. It'll ask you, you know, whether you want to install the developer tool, just say yes, and that'll download it for you straight away. This is what you'll get on the page code. So it's just a nice, simple Velo uh, API. Uh, you do need the uh, on ready function. So just make sure that that is available. So currently what we have on this particular name or the name of this slideshow is slideshow one. So we can double check that by going through the layers. And if we have a look here, you can see that it's called slideshow one. So we're happy to confirm that. So if we just click on this again, uh, you can see that it's saying image. Uh, but if we bring it down to the top right there, you'll see that I can bring it down all the way to slideshow one. And then you, you'll reference the ID there at the bottom saying slideshow one. So hopping on to the actual code, I'll now demonstrate that code here. So I'll go ahead and just delete this. Okay, so what we want is for the first button which is button number two, to stay as the first slideshow. And then with button number 16, so uh, I'm not too sure if you guys can see that, or number, it's say, saying button four. So that's button four, and this one is button three. So we've got button two, four, and three. Okay. So what we want to do is for button two, we're going to do dollar sign W and then we're going to say brackets and then quotation mark button and then or make sure that you have the hashtag button two. So it's showing that there is a button too. So we're happy enough with that. Now we'll click off that. And then we're going to say dot on click. So, cause of course, when we click that button, the, what we want to see is slideshow one, which is the background of course. And then we want to make sure that it's sticking to the first slideshow. So then do brackets, brackets, and then what we want is we want equals greater than and f curly brace. And then we want to do dollar sign W. And this is when we implement the slideshow. So we're saying that this is um, hashtag slideshow, slideshow one. So this is particular to the ID names of whatever you guys have. So it might just say slideshow or it might just say um, slide. So just make sure that you double check what, what the actual ID is. And again, you can read that through the layers or you can read it in the toolbar section here on the top. So if you click on the ellipsis here on the very top, you can see where it's stacked to or where it's sticking through. So it'll show you the different elements that are particular to that group. So just double check that guys. So anyway, continuing on, we want to do change slide and 
it's an integer, so we want to make sure that it starts off with zero, so it's the same. Um, zero is technically one, so that's what we're keeping it to. And then, of course, we have now closed it off. Okay, great. And we want to do the exact same, so we're going to repeat this code three times. So make sure you do a semi call colon at the end of that, and then we'll just implement this code three times. But the only difference is instead of button two, we are changing that to button three and four. So we'll just double check and see the ID. So you can see that that is called button four. So then we'll change that to button four. For this one, it is button three. Okay, so that is button three. And then for the slide, we want to make sure that that is one and this is two. So technically one, two, three, but it's stated as zero, one, and two. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close this off and we're going to go ahead and view it. And this should now work. So we have the slideshow currently sliding from left to right. Now, if we hover over this, you can see that that brings it to one, that brings it to two, that brings it to three. And then we can bring that to two if we wanted to as well. And we can bring it to one. Now, you can see that, of course, if I am on slideshow one and I want to go to three, it makes sense. But if I'm at three and I want to go to one, it doesn't really direct me to that same section. Uh, unfortunately, the only way to fix this sort of animation style is just by clicking on it and then we'll just open up our toolbar here. Uh, go ahead and select on the slideshow itself. Now you should be given the option for a settings. So there's the slideshow repeater and you'll see settings on the top left there. If you want to change that instead to have a crossfade, so that'll look a little bit better. Now you can have it on pause and hover, you can have it on infinite loop and autoplay, and you can uh, show navigation buttons, but for us, we are going to turn that off. Uh, so we're happy enough with that. We'll go ahead and view it again. And then once that is up and running, you can go ahead and just select that and it'll change the slides. Uh, but there you have it guys, that is how to create a slideshow with navigation buttons on Wix Studio. Well folks, hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully you did find it helpful. If you did, let us know in the comment section below. Also, let us know what you think about Wix Studio itself. Is it a upgrade from Wix Editor or is it a downgrade? Please do let us know in the comment section below, we'd like to know what you think. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.